In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to create a simple array in Visual Logic. Adding an array to Visual Logic is extremely simple. You simply click on your line and then go into Make Array. And then you can give it a name. And we'll just call this Sales Total. And we'll make it worth, we'll make it have an array of five different pieces. And then it's very easy for us to use. Typically with an array, you use it with a for loop. So we're going to enter items into our array using a for loop. And so we'll just put in i, initial value equals 1, final value equals 5, OK. And then while it does that, we will input And we called our array sales total. And you have to put in the index i. And we're going to change this to the console. Hit OK. And then we usually want to do something with that. So let's add a variable here. And we'll just call this total. And we'll set it equal to 0 initially. And then we're going to have total equal itself plus the sales total that we just entered in. And then after it's entered in all of them, we will, I like to put all of my variables up at the top, so I'm going to Put in an average equal to 0. And we will make our average equal to total divided by 5. And that should give us our average. So this is a very simple program. And typically, when you're working with an array to enter data into it, you'll use a loop. And then we'll average it when we come out. Let's give it a try. So we'll just say 34, 55, 32, 64, 72. And this would have worked great if I had only hit display. So let's do an output. The aver sales average is, and don't forget to put that in quotes, use a plus sign to concatenate it, plus average. Okay, let's try that again. Always have to test. And you can see when I'm working live that making errors is normal. Expect that you are going to make an error in almost every program that you ever write which is why you have to test it. This worked OK. Ideally, I should have done one more change, which I'm going to make the change, but I'm not going to run it again. I should have changed this to a console so it displayed right afterwards. All right, and that is a very simple use of an array. Array lets you store a lot of data of one type, basically in a row of a table is the way that it works. So this is a very simple array. And in the next lecture, you'll see how to do parallel arrays that refer to the same thing, which is even more useful than an array.